Hey, what's up? Zach here with another random map commentary, and today we're going to be looking at a 2 versus 2. My god, I sound a little bit like Tony the Tiger when I do that. It's like, they're great. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's 2v2 on uh, Yucatan. We do have, uh, for the team on the left, we've got 8th Wonder in red. He's playing as Spanish, aka Nuri I Go Eat. And his teammate down to the south in blue is Loiza. He's playing as Mayans. And their opponents over to the other side of the map in green. Rulers of Rome, Jon Snow, a.k.a. Terra. He's playing as Spanish in green. And up to the sort of uh, northeast of the map, his teammate, Gug, in grey, playing as Mayans. So it's Mayans and Spanish Mirror. Quite an interesting matchup, actually, because obviously, as we know, the Spanish really don't fare too well in the feudal age, as they don't really have much going for them in, in terms of feudal rushing. But thankfully for the Spanish players, this map is very heavy in food, as we know Yucatan has an extra boar. And where is it? I'm trying to find it. Where is 8th Wonder's extra boar? Hmm... I don't see it anywhere, but uh, if we have a look down here, uh, you can see they do have the extra berries as well, and the extra boar, Loise's boar right there, he's got three, uh, as you can see, Jon Snow with three as well, and just lots of extra food basically. So it does mean that fast castles are on the cards for pretty much everyone going into this game. It's also a fairly easy wall if you are so inclined, as you can wall up here, here, and here and you're pretty much done. Um, you could also wall if you were on the other side, top top versus bottom, you could wall across the river. But in this situation, kind of weird because uh, teammates are on the opposite side of the river to each other, which is actually more unusual, I think, to see that. Usually it's the river that separates the teams, but in this case it's not. So walling will be a little more difficult if they, uh, if they actually intend to do all of that walling stuff. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, yeah, it's going to be pretty much fast castles and I think here, Jon Snow, pretty much down with the Fast Castle. He's a very well-known arena player, and Fast Castling is certainly um, not out of the question for him. Uh, for some reason, when I play it on Fast Mode, it's not much faster than when I play it on Normal Mode. Um, I believe that's probably Vuboy. I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, so Spanish and Mayans. What can we expect from the Spanish and the Mayans if they're both going to be Fast Castling? Well, unique units, really, I think. It's pretty common to see mines making plumed archers, and it's pretty common as well to see the Spanish making conquistadors. Of course, they could go for uh, knights, but if it's walled up, then perhaps going for the conquistadors would be a better choice for the Spanish player, as they can usually, well, as they're a ranged unit, they can sometimes hit. Um, like lumber camps and stuff that, that might be walled out, but because they're ranged, they can still reach them. So knights, not such a good option. And also as well, if your opponent does go for massed conquistadors, um, knights aren't going to fare too well against them anyway. For the Mayan player, pretty uncommon then that we'll see eagle warriors coming out. I mean, it's very rare that you see them anyway until the Imperial Age, but... Um, most likely going to see plumed archers from them. And we'll see how these players decide that they're going to wall it up and, and do all of that jazz. So I'm kind of curious to see where this third boar is for 8th Wonder. It's, uh, it's, it's either down here, but that seems wrong because they're so far away. Um, ah, it's at the back. Wait, I didn't even see that. I don't know if he scouted that, actually. I'll have a look. Yes, he has. He's seen it. So, yeah, three boars for him as well. I was, I was kind of like, what? <laughs> if he's not got a third boar, that kind of sucks. But, of course, he would have a third boar. He's also taking some fish on the water. And, you know, this lake in the middle, or this river, can provide some good fishing opportunities. But I think, in most cases, there's not really many big fish in here. They're all just little shore fish, little tiddlers, uh, for now. But even so, it can be worthwhile making a dock and four fishing ships, even if you have three, four, maybe even five um, little fishing spots here, shore fish fishing spots. It always just gives a boost to your eco, and if you're planning on fast castling anyway, then it's usually worth it. So, eighth wonder now, just going to be walling up, and he seems to be the first to do so. Gah, starting to wall up as well. Nothing in the way of walls for Jon Snow here. But interestingly enough, Loiza is putting down a barracks, so he's already put down a barracks, and he's going to be making some militia in there. 
So Loy's actually going to rush this, and Jon Snow, of course, not really showing any indication of walling up just yet. So a rush could actually be fairly effective for him, depending on how Jon Snow walls and if he walls fast enough. He could hit these barriers here. Um, he could even hit the gold at the back if Jon Snow has any villagers there, but at the moment he doesn't. So maybe he'll just try and go for the berries on the front. Loiza then sending out three militia right now. And it's not uncommon to see Mayans drush, but obviously in this map, with it being a fairly easy wall a lot of the time, drushing doesn't always seem to work out. I remember in the GML, there was a game on Yucatan. I can't remember who it was, again, who it was with, but uh, one player decided to drush, and it took them about... I don't know, a good, a good 15 minutes to get their, their militia from one side of the map to the other because it was so walled up. It was quite amusing to see, actually. And by that time, obviously, the drush was way too late, and it couldn't really do much because the other player could very easily react to it, wall them out, or, or do whatever. So anyway, Loys are going to come in right now. Quick walling in from uh, Jon Snow. Nice stuff from him. You should get another wall up here and here, and he is going to stop Loiza from getting in. No problem for him, and that was a very quick reaction actually. We'll see what else he can manage to do then. Of course, he doesn't want to lose any villagers. That would be rather unfortunate for him. It looks like Loys are going to head to the back here, and it could be that he's heading for these villagers right here. Jon Snow could again wall in very quickly if he sees it coming. It looks like Loys are yeah, heading straight for that gold back here. Obviously, Jon Snow with two villagers gathering. He's going to quickly wall up as best he can. Looks like this one's going to get in. Yep. So the eagle's in, but oh wow. Okay, thankfully he actually palisaded the other militia out. And he should now, with two villagers. I know he's attacking uphill, but with two villagers, he should be able to take out this uh, eagle warrior from uh, Loiza. So it looks like Loiza could lose his eagle here. Yeah, he will do. But uh, at the expense of losing a villager, I suppose it's not too bad. He might still be able to get more picks with these militia. But that's uh, one dead eagle for Loiza, one dead villager for Jon Snow. But overall, so far, not actually losing too much in the way of eco or anything like that. Let's have a look, though, if he's actually going up. Uh, Loiza's up to feudal right now. And it, it is that, uh, sorry, it's 11 minutes in, so kind of expected. Still trying to get through. Lois is still trying to find a way in, but Jon Snow on the ball, and he's not really having much luck. Let's have a look at Jon Snow right here. He's up to feudal as well, of course, and he's actually up a little bit sooner than Loisa is, which is expected. You kind of would expect that the guy who's not made the militia would go up first. So it's a good job that he is going up first. Taking deer on the front, well he was taking deer on the front. I think maybe he's uh, trying to not go on those deer so much because he knows that these militia are here, could give him a hard time. But uh, for now he seems to be safe. He's actually lacking the gold that he needs to go up to castle. And he's going to be able to take obviously all of these turkeys in the safety of his TC until he manages to deal with these militia. Also now taking some stone, so we will see a castle straight out of Jon Snow there. Loiza, he is not taking any stone right now, but he has got four villagers on gold. He's going to have plenty of uh, uh, resources here. Should be able to go up to castle straight away and likely build two TCs straight away, judging by the amount of wood that he has right there. Let's see, Guh was already up to feudal. He's putting down a market and blacksmith right now over at his base. And he's starting to take some stone as well, so we will see a castle from him also. And now just waiting for that food count to get up to the castle age. Eighth wonder also going up to feudal right now. Blacksmith market going down and again it's going to be a fast castle starting to take stone as well. So pretty much everybody here doing exactly the same sort of strategy. Loiza a little bit slower to go and take villagers over to stone right here. He is only just starting to do that right now. And... He actually is, uh, yeah, he's good, probably just going to go, he's not too bothered about making too much military once he gets up to Castle, because he's obviously drushed Jon Snow right here. He's still being a little bit of a nuisance back here as well. Two militias still up, and losing one right there to, I believe, these villagers. But yeah, just being a bit of a pain in the ass. It's going to be a while before Jon Snow can really get an attack together to attack Loiza. So not too bothered about getting his, uh, his castle up straight away. Of course, he will want it there for defensive measures anyway. 
And as you see, Eighth Wonder is still taking those fish. Not really many left, though. And, yeah, actually, once they're gone, he might move to fish traps. But fish traps are quite expensive. They cost a lot of wood. And, you know, it's not always a good decision to invest in the fish traps straight away. Loiser, still being a pain. Jon Snow not able to take gold back here while he's hanging around. Still trying to kill these militia off ones. Pretty low. Still one remains, though. And that's pretty much all the action we have at the moment. We're going to speed things up again. Um, Gur walling up with stone behind his double palisade wall. So he really does want to keep his economy safe. And he has got an easy wall to do. So not really too bothered. Uh, he's not really too bothered at the moment. And still just being a real pain to Jon Snow here. Lois is slowing him down quite a bit right there. So, who is going to be first up to Castle? I believe it's going to be Gur. No, it's going to be Jon Snow. Or Loiza, even. Okay, wow. So, Loiza doing the rush and also first up to Castle. 31 population compared to 35 for um, Eighth Wonder, 32 for Gur, and 28 for Jon Snow. So, Jon Snow lacking a little bit in the village account right here. But he is going to be able to get a castle straight up right now. He has had those villagers gathering. and Maybe he's going to try and do a counter pretty quickly to Loiza here. Once this castle goes up, he might try and make some conquistadors and go and attack over at Loiza's base. Loiza then, is he putting a castle up? Nope, he's going to go up with a TC first. And he has got this, the wood to make a third TC as well, but he's not doing that just yet. Maybe he wants his castle next before he puts his third one up. Um, but either way, he can afford it, so we'll see what he does. Keep an eye on that. He is walling at the moment as well. So if he manages to wall, then he might be okay. He's got a wall across here right now. This village is a little bit low, though. Oh, saying that, this scout is as well. I was going to say that scout could kill it, but obviously with one health left, one shot, and it's dead. Castle going up for Jon Snow, though. And Jon Snow here, I think if he just makes a couple of conquistadors, yeah, he can actually stop this wall from being completed, which is good for him. It means that he can leave Loiza open and try and harass him a little more. Loiza still saving up for that castle, it seems. Monastery going down. Maybe going to make some monks, but maybe just to collect up relics as well. And monks could be reasonable against conquistadors. See, monks have nine range, conquistadors have six, but conquistadors do so much damage, they can kill monks very quickly if they get in range. And of course then, if they're in range, um, your monk's already dead by the time it's had a chance to convert. So you really have to be on the ball and have to really keep your eye out. So there we go, Jon Snow managed to prevent that wall from Loiza going up, and he is going to be able to prevent that from going up for a while, I think, because Loiza only just getting a castle up right now. And obviously he did that TC first, so it's going to be a little while before he manages to get any plumes out there. Guh, 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 just working on eco by the looks of things. Second and third TC up, waiting to see if he's going to put a castle down anywhere. Eighth wonder, second and third TC up, same for him. And it looks like it's just going to be booming up for these guys, while at the bottom we're going to have a little bit more action going on as Jon Snow's getting a little bit more aggressive with the conquistadors here. Now let's see what Lois is going to do. Making a couple of monks right now, and the castle's going to go up as well. Very defensive castle right there. But the monks may be able to get a conversion. We'll keep an eye on them. See if he manages to do it. Of course, 9 range versus 6, he might be able to... And the monk's dead. This is what I'm saying. Two conquistadors kill the monks so quickly. Without sanctity or anything like that, the monks really are very squishy against conquistadors. It's not such a good idea to make monks in this situation, I don't think. A couple of villagers going down for Loiza then, and Jon Snow, pretty good job actually here. Coming straight back at him, taking a score lead from him as well, and uh, managing to slow this castle down. Of course, this castle now going to go up, and Loiza's still making some monks. Castle should, yeah, there we go. Do some damage to these conquistadors. Not a great deal though. And Loiza going to try and get a conversion, but it doesn't look like that's going to work out for him at all. And Jon Snow going to get away, still preventing this wall from being completed. So that's an open door into Loiza's base. And Loiza now going to have to make some plumed archers, I think, but lacking the food. We get a TC up on the front as well, just to make sure his villages are a bit more um, safe. But as I said earlier, the Conquistadors, with their long range, with their high attack, they can take up villages very quickly indeed. They're a very good raiding unit, similar to the Turkish... Uh, Janissaries, they do work really well at raiding 
Uh, just because they do have reasonably good range and such high attack, they kill villagers so quickly. G is got a castle up right now, and I wonder if he's actually making any plumes from that. Yes, he is. So everybody making their UU right now, apart from Eighth Wonder, who doesn't have a castle yet. <laughs> doesn't have a castle yet. Castle created. So there we go. He's going to be making some conquistadors as well. Everybody going for the unique unit here. And it is the obvious choice. They're really good unique units, of course. Plumed archers being so cheap and pretty effective as well. And conquistadors just being so powerful. I think in a 1v1, Conquistador will win against a Plumed Archer, um, I believe. But, of course, the, the, the Plumed Archers are so much cheaper, so they do have that you know, potential there to, to do a lot of damage. Loiza losing his monks, but also managing to get two conversions, so it was certainly worth it. And there's a Conquistador for Loiza right there. But uh, Jon Snow not making too much of a loss right there still. He may be able to get a few more villagers, maybe able to pick off some units. Of course, these guys are a little bit inaccurate at long range. And Loiza now making some plumed archers in here, saving them up for the time being. Looks like, uh, yeah, good. Up at the top right here with some plumes. I wonder where else he's got plumes as well. It's kind of hard to see grey on this map, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, good. with a few plumed archers up here, maybe he's looking to poke at 8th Wonder's economy somewhere, somehow. Not really sure where, though, because it's pretty walled up at the moment. And he's continuing to wall it as well, sending some villagers up here to create this wall. Or a villager, at least. Uh, whether or not he's going to be able to do that, I don't know. Jon Snow now coming in with the conks, and Loiza going to try and position himself to prevent Jon Snow from getting out. Of course, Jon Snow can escape this way, he can escape this way, but if Loiza positions himself here, then when Jon Snow tries to retreat, he can pretty easily mop him up, I think. But Jon Snow going to make a run by this TC, and oh no, Loiza going to lose a few villagers right now, I think, as he's trying to run these away, but... Nice stuff by Jon Snow getting in here. Going to be able to pick off two so far. Three, four, five, maybe even possible. As the villagers make a mad dash to the TC. And Lois is going to get back. Managing to take three. Uh, sorry, Jon Snow getting back. Managing to take three. And Lois is now going to chase him down with these plumed archers. We'll see just how effective the plumed archers are against the conks. Of course, the plumed archers have the same range. But the conks are able to micro slightly better as they are a faster unit. I believe they're a faster unit. Anyway, once they've got husbandry, they, they must be. Managing to micro pretty well, actually. Jon Snow getting a few units there. But overall, Loiza here making the better trades. Obviously, the plumed archers are so much cheaper. But really good micro by Jon Snow. Really making the most of what he's got right here. Obviously, he's starting to lose these guys right now. But still picking off plumed archers where he can. Managing to try and focus down the weak ones. He needs to aim at this one here. He could kill that pretty easily. But yeah, going to get trapped in there, and Loiza looks like he should be able to take out the rest of the conks. If he gar- nope, he didn't garrison. A little bit late garrisoning there. Conks going to get away. Oh, nope, no they're not. They're going to get trapped, and they're going to die. Or are they? Who knows? I don't know. What's going to happen? It's so tense. Loiza's going to kill them. Surely Loiza's going to kill them. He can't let them get away here. But they do soak up quite a lot of arrow fire, even so. And now surely one. One survives by the looks of things. Anyway, what's going up in the north? As I said earlier, Eighth Wonder was trying to wall this up, but Guh stopping him from doing that with his plumes right there. And I'm not really seeing where Guh's plumes are. There was a little bit of a conflict down here. Not all that much, I don't think, though. And here we go. Finally, Jon Snow's Conquistador's cleared up. Now let's look at his economy. How's his economy looking? He's got three T's up, TC's up right now. And, of course, so is Loiza. So everyone on three for the time being. I thought for a second there that, that uh, Guh was on four, but still only on three. Kind of waiting to see what's going to happen here. Everyone's very walled up, and obviously that doesn't lead to much interesting play. I'm going to speed things up until something actually happens. Loiza moving out now with some plumes. Maybe he's going to try and wall this up completely. If he actually takes this area back. Going to slip through here for now. And yes, he's going to stop this TC from going up. Jon Snow going to have to run with these villagers. But he has got a second castle up right now. And he's not actually noticed the plumes in here. So there we go. Villagers going to die very, very quickly. Plume Arch is great at picking off villagers. There's a third, fourth villager going down. 
and Loy's uh, managing to get a good little trade there, really making up for the fact that Jon Snow killed some of his villagers earlier. So pretty good stuff right there. Might be able to get a few more as well. Jon Snow, of course, going to react with some conquistadors. He has got plus one defense on these. So that's going to help them a little bit more against the, obviously, well, the plumed archers here with plus two attack. Let's see what he can do. Is he going to be able to pick them off and completely kill them? If Loiza has a high ground advantage, he might be able to do some good damage here. Have to wait and see. Quite a lot of plumes up here for Gurt at the top. Siege Workshop as well. Looks like Gurt's going to try and get aggressive over this area. Um, maybe making some rams and stuff to take this area down with the plumes behind it. I believe, yeah, just up to Imp as well. Jon Snow not. Eighth Wonder going up to Imp and Loiza going up to Imp. So, um, obviously Jon Snow a little bit further behind here. He's well, well, well away from Imp at the moment. It's going to be a while before he gets up. But uh, there we go, Conquistadors able to take out these plumed archers very quickly indeed. Not really a lot they can do at the moment. But uh, I think Jon Snow really starting to fall behind here massively. He's not clicked up to Imp yet. And he's so far away from getting the food and gold that he needs. Because he's been making so many Conquistadors. That he's going to be quite some time before he reaches the Imperial Age. G, of course. Uh, Eighth Wonder, of course, and Loiza as well, all are clicking up right now. Eighth Wonder already up to Imp. Stables going down at the front. Cavalier being researched as well. And he's going to go for, well, go for Cavalier. Aim to go for Paladins and mix that with the Conquistadors as well. Plus one defense on there. And uh, plus two defense on the knights, plus one attack. So definitely going to be trying to make a lot of paladins here if he can, well, if he can afford it. Jon Snow coming in once again with some conquistadors, trying to hit Loiza's economy and slow him down. But he doesn't realize that Loiza's already clicked up to Imp, I don't think. Perhaps he will now when it displays to them that uh, Loiza's hit the Imperial Age. But I'm interested to see how Gur's going to make this uh, make this attack up at the top. He could actually catch Eighth Wonder off guard quite quickly here. A lot of capped rams, but Eighth Wonder, I don't know if he's seen that actually. Or if he just had an instinct to wall it up. Because he doesn't know that there's anything here right now. But he is making this wall. And is he going to be able to stop him from going in? It looks like, yep, Eighth Wonder's going to be left open. But he it has been alerted to this attack as Gur brings his capped rams over. And tries to attack this area. Is Eighth Wonder going to be able to respond quickly enough? Well, Cavalier and Conquistador's heading over there now. As G moves in with Rams, Cap Rams and Plumed Archers. Is he able to attack this? Now, of course, with plus four defense, Cavalier's going to be in a great position. But Elite Plume's done. Plus four attack, probably nearly done as well. So they are still going to pack a little bit of a punch. But as Eighth Wonder said in the chat a moment ago, uh, I will die from Halberdier. Of course, Gur doesn't actually have any halberdier, so Eighth Wonder's probably going to be actually okay right now. If he can sit by this castle, take out the rams, and then try not to fight the plumed archers when they're you know, in, in a small space. Back down on the south of the map, obviously Jon Snow here really piling up the conquistadors. He's got so many, just clicked up to Imp as well, so uh, he's actually going to be up fairly soon. But even so, there's a window of opportunity here for Loiza. A very big window of opportunity, a castle going up on the front. We can probably see Trebs coming out from him. And he could take out these castles from Jon Snow very quickly if he wanted to. Attacking the north. Eighth window going to be able to take out the rams fairly quickly by the looks of things. They are going down. And that attack from Gur, pretty unsuccessful actually. Seemingly losing a few plumed archers there, but not too many. Escaping with those, but these rams all went down. And that's obviously not so good for him. There's obviously the plumed archers on their own. Not going to be so great. He needs to, the rams to take down the castles, etc. And now, starting to add in barracks so that he can actually make some halberdier by the looks of things. Eighth Wonder going to come straight in here, though. He knows he's got a bit of an upper hand. He has got plus four, as I said, defense. He's obviously got the conquistadors behind this. And the cavalier in here. He might be able to kill off a lot of these plumes, but even so... Eighth Wonder's got to be careful, they will shred through his cavalry pretty quickly when they're, you know, all bunched up in this tiny space like this. Eighth Wonder having to retreat right now. And not bad from Gur there, not bad at all. Did lose quite a few elite uh, plumed archers, but he's switching to halbs now, so that's a good choice for him to make, obviously. 
And now Jon Snow just trying to hold out until he reaches the Imperial Age. Surprisingly, lawyers are not really making any trebuchets right now. He's only just getting one up. Uh, well, he's actually set up. Sorry, take that back. Um, he's, he has got one, but it is still quite slow. And just two trebuchets coming in. The third one just being created. So finally actually getting them out. But Jon Snow's going to be up to him fairly shortly. Lawyers are deleting a hole in his wall. Let's see what he can do here. It'll be interested to see. A lot of plumes from Gur. And now we're going to see if Eighth Wonder can actually attack this. Plus four attack done on these Cavalier as well. Maybe the Paladin upgrade will be done very shortly. We'll have to check that very quickly. Yeah, Paladin's just on the way, but it's quite a way off. So we'll be attacking this with Cavalier only. And these plumed archers are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Are they going to be able to do enough damage though? That's the question. It looks like the Halberdier really aren't doing so great at the moment. Getting taken out pretty quickly. And the plumed archers as well starting to melt beneath the Cavalier right here. Lawyers are not able to make enough, sorry not Lawyers good, not able to make enough by the looks of things and 8th Wonder manages to take that battle in what would seem a pretty tough battle to win actually. But uh, yeah, nicely played by 8th Wonder there. I think if Gur had perhaps moved his plumes to here rather than leaving them here, they wouldn't have been surrounded and it would have been easier for him to um, to kill more stuff. Unfortunately that wasn't the case for him and 8th Wonder managing to win that pretty decisively up there. Meanwhile Loiza pushing in at the bottom. One castle down for Jon Snow but he's up to Imp right now. Waiting to see Cavalier upgrade being done. Trebuchet is coming out as well. Conscription going up. But uh, only two castles against what's soon to be four castles from Loiza. No way can he outproduce trebuchets. So Loiza is going to be in a great position here. Starting to pick off villagers in Jon Snow's economy, but he doesn't really have many plumed archers. So, yes, he has got elite plumed archers, fully, almost fully upgraded, but he is lacking the numbers here. So, Jon Snow should be able to kill these off pretty easily. Even with just knights and, uh, and conquistadors, should be able to kill them pretty quickly. But he has got more behind, actually. So, Jon Snow gonna, in for a tough time. This castle going to go down. One or two more hits, and that is going to go. And there it goes, down it goes, and now Loiza going to hang to his hill. Looks like uh, Jon Snow really doesn't have much to, do to fight this. Cavalier only just being researched whilst up in the north, 8th Wonder with his fully upgraded Paladins right now. Everything upgraded on that, Bloodlines plus 4 attack plus 4 defense, and of course Jon Snow resigning. So it's 2v1, Gus still in it, he's not resigning just yet, but it looks like these guys are about ready to make a move onto Gus. I really don't see how Gur is going to be able to fight that many paladins. He will need a lot more plumed archers to actually fight that. And of course, producing from th four castles is going to be a lot slower than producing from, I don't know, eight to ten um, stables like uh, Eighth Wonder has. He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine stables. So Eighth Wonder, he is producing more expensive units, but if he has the gold, which I think he does, yep, yeah, a lot of gold, a lot of food, he's still going to be able to outproduce Gur. And even though Gur's units are cheaper, I don't know if he's actually able to defend against this. And you've got to bear in mind as well, Paladins and Plumed Archers, such a powerful combination. Obviously the Paladins um, soak up a lot of, uh, of damage, uh, but also the, the Plumed Archers can kill off the Halberdier very, very quickly indeed. And so if Gur's making Halbs and Plumes here, then Paladins and Plumes are a very good counter to that. Now let's see if he's actually able to defend it. I don't know. It's looking highly unlikely. He has nowhere near enough plumed archers here. He's struggling to get the halberdier count up by the looks of things as well. And that's a lot of paladins there for 8th Wonder. He's actually got 64 cavalry units. So I'm going to... Sh well, 64 paladins. 6... Blue, uh, 6... Um, conquistadors. That's a lot of cavalry right there. And he is going to come straight in with that. Capture Rams coming in, but of course they'll go down pretty quickly, I think. But then, of course, we do have Loiser as well right here with his plumes. So this is looking pretty damn ugly for Gur right now. But, you know, kudos to him. He's sticking in there. He's got more plumed archers behind this. This castle looks like it's going to fall very quickly indeed. Halbs, plumed archers for him. I just don't see how he's going to win this, though. <laughs> it's, it's nigh on impossible, but... He's going to give it a go, and we'll see. All credit goes to him for at least trying. You've got to give him that. 
switch to go right here. Let's watch these units. A lot of blue archers very, very tightly packed in, but even so, the paladins are able to soak a lot of damage, bringing the halberdier around right now. No plus four attack, but plus four defense is done. The problem he's got here is Loiza can very quickly, very easily kill off his halberdier. Try to put the halbs in there to kill the the uh, paladins, but they're even melting away so, so quickly. All the halbs down, and it's simply put... Eighth Wonder just has too many Paladins to contest. Of course now Loiza coming in with his Plumed Archers and Gur just has not got enough here to defend against this. It's, it's an absolute monster death ball of an army. And Gur is never going to be able to outproduce them in a 2v1 situation. Not when Eighth Wonder has this many fully upgraded Paladins. It's just not going to happen. So I think we're going to see GG from Gur very shortly. Siege Ram's done for 8 Wonder as well. Castle's going down, moving everything up, and it does seem like Gur now gonna have to just gonna have to resign. There is nothing he can do. There we go. He says GG, and uh, and that's it. Eighth Wonder and Loiza take it. Pretty good victory for them. Um, I think Jon Snow kind of didn't play that so well. He, I, I liked his idea of trying to get. Lawyers are back with the Conquistadors, but he slowed himself down up to imps for so long. It took him s such a long while for him to get Cavalier even upgraded, let alone Paladin. By that time, Eighth Wonder was already killing his teammate with fully upgraded Paladins, and it was just a little bit too much, leaving it in a 2v1 situation where they could very easily mop up and kill G. So anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a little like below. But as usual, I've been Zach, and I will see you next time.